Hello everybody and welcome back once again to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. Uh, we're in the middle of just the worst. It's just the middle of the worst, I tell you what. Oh wait. Oh, am I going the right way? No, I'm not. Oh, they've trapped me here. I cannot escape. Oh, down? Down? Down. Maybe? Unless this is, this is, nope, this is back the way I came, it's good. Oh, good, okay, good. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, oh, no. No, wait. This one, this one. Oh, my gosh. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Yeah, uh, switch. Go away. Oh my gosh, oh no. Okay, you guys do something with those. Oh my gosh, these things are ridiculous. I was gonna dash into that one. I didn't realize there was one behind me. There's so many. <laughs> There's so many. I am opening a door on the far side of the room. No shields. Oh, wrong one. Wrong. Oh, oh my goodness. There's somebody behind me. Nope. Okay. Oh, there is now. No. Okay. I feel like there is someone behind me. Need to recover my barrier? No. <laughs> oh. Little did you guys know, I'm not actually good at this game. <laughs> As it may be, it may be obvious now. Okay, we're going over there. We have. Oh my gosh, I'm getting stuck on things. Okay. No, wrong one again. Oh, good. The problem with this one, this this uh, this gun I have, the mat, not the matic, the claymore, is that it's only a one shot. But that's it does so much power. I feel like it uh, makes up for that. Not makes up for it, but you know. Oh, Edie. I have successfully opened a door on the opposite wall. I will keep it open as long as I can. 
down there. That's where we came aboard, isn't it? We must be getting close to the end. That's good, that's good, that's good. Oh, what's this? Hmm, what's this indeed? Somebody over there. Okay. Oh no. I'm trying to get off of this stupid thing. I forgot to reload. Oh my gosh, there's a scion down there. Okay, let's go. Her red armor looks kind of like the abominations. Listen, dude. Like, if I could just drop down there, it would be great, but, you know. Wow! <laughs> I don't want to waste ammo on them. Uh, what button is it? One? Can't, why can't I hit it? We're just gonna punch each other to death. Oh my gosh. Oh, you can beach that one. Oh my gosh. I ran out of ammo on the shotgun. Oh my gosh. I didn't even realize we were that close to the end. Time to go, time to go. Strap in, people. I'm gonna make them work for it this time. We have gotten some upgrades for the ship. I'd like look behind me, I'm like, whoa. Not specifying a destination generally doesn't go over well in sci-fi when you're jumping. 
I leveled up. Yay. We all have to be careful. Also appears impossible to block his ability to possess minions. Edie's work was exceptional, proving the value of a shackled AI. Okie dokie. Time to go yell at the elusive man. Call coming in from the elusive man, Commander. I figure you've got a few words for him, too. He already did this to us once, sent us into a trap. Like, it's not, like... Shepard, looks like Edie <laughs> extracted some interesting data before the collector ship came back online. What am I to you? I'm just like a useful way to get information. Edie told us the distress call originated from the Collectors. You betrayed us, just like I knew you would. We're at war. The Collectors are taking humans, and every minute we waste is one more we give the enemy to prepare. I know the stakes, but we're supposed to be on the same side, and I can't trust you. Without that information, we don't reach the Collector homeworld. And you and every other human may as well be dead. It was a trap, but I was confident in your abilities. And don't forget Edie. The collectors couldn't have anticipated her. I think the thing is, is like he could have told us, right? But then there's like the idea um, that maybe they would have overheard, and then they would have known, and they would have known the trap was 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 you know known. I guess you could have told me the plan. You say I'm important, but you sure try hard to get me killed. I needed the collectors to believe they had the upper hand. Telling you could have tipped them off in any number of ways. I keep saying these things before they say it in the game. I wouldn't have sent you in if I didn't think you were <laughs> I don't risk people. There are always... I do times. actually risk, I'll you risk people. You like being on the receiving end. Neither would I. But the facts are with me. As much as we try to avoid them, these decisions need to be made. He's not wrong. But more importantly, it paid off. Edie confirmed our suspicions. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced identify friend foe system that the relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. Mm. I'm guessing you have a plan. We have a science team working on a derelict reaper right now. I need you to go and pick up its okay. IFF. Okay, that's the one that sucks, I'm pretty sure. But it also is really good, because you get to pick up something. <laughs> Where'd you find a derelict reaper? An Alliance science team recently determined that the Great Rift on the planet Clendigan is actually an impact crater from a mass accelerator weapon. We read about that, actually, in the last game, on one of the, like, little daily walks, little planets. A very planets. old mass accelerator. I sent a team to find either the weapon or its target. They found both. The weapon was defunct, but it helped us plot the flight path of the intended target, a 37-million-year-old derelict reaper. We found it damaged and trapped in the gravity of a brown dwarf. Aren't brown dwarfs basically stars that didn't quite make it? Simply put, <laughs> I'm a soldier, man. Giants that don't quite have the masses of stars. Expect gale force winds and extremely high temperatures. The Reaper has a mass effect field that keeps it in orbit, likely an automated response to the external threats. It's stable, but I won't call it safe. I saw what Sovereign did to the Citadel fleet. Hard to imagine anything could stop something that powerful. This vessel is a relic from a battle waged while mammals took their first steps on Earth. There's no trace of the species that took the shot. Perhaps it was their one moment of defiance before being wiped out. I get the feeling this isn't going to be a simple swing by and pick up our package. Mm -hmm. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues and it was too risky to commit more resources. Now we need that IFF. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, I suggest you tell your crew I didn't risk their lives unnecessarily. It will make things easier going forward. Edie, tell the crew to assemble. We've got a lot to talk about. I, of course, Shepard. I tell my crew stuff, not you. Evil stepdad. Morally gray stepdad, rather. So the elusive man didn't sell us out. Could have fooled me. Lied to us. Used us. Needed access to the collector databanks. 
necessary risk. Mm. I don't like picking the renegade stuff. So I'm just not going to. At least not for now. There really wasn't any other choice. Let's just hope this IFF works. My analysis is accurate, Shepard. I have also determined the approximate location of the Collector homeworld based on navigational data from their vessel. There was another choice. He could have told us, but... It is what it is. That can't be right. Edie doesn't make mistakes. The Collector homeworld is located somewhere in the galactic core. Can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction. Space station protected by powerful mass effect fields and radiation shields. Even the Collectors don't have that kind of technology. No wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip to the Omega-4 mass relay. The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common and would be fatal in the galactic core. The Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. Just because we can follow the collectors through the relay doesn't mean we can take them out. I don't want to go after them until I know we're ready. Sooner or later, we need that IFF. I say, uh, why wait? Hold your horses. Derelict Reaper. What if the collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that kind of risk. The more people we have on our side, the better our chances of success. We need to keep building up the team. It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you. It's foolhardy to just throw yourself in. I like that of everybody, it's just more than... Like, besides, you know, the required... Oh, I know why. Like, Well, it's because um, you get Jacob and Miranda right off the bat, right? They're automatic, so they're going to be in every cutscene. And then Morden is the only other required teammate. Five renegade! What I do need my renegade! Morden is the only other required teammate. So in order to not, I don't know, make it weird, they just only have those. But it's still, it's still weird. <sighs> Heavy pistol damage. Yes! Oh my gosh, I don't... Where do I... Break? I need to get more weapon upgrade. Look at this. I really just... I just need to get... Wait, I know what is it. I need to get the damage, not weapon upgrade. I need to get the damage upgrades. Oh my gosh. Oh, and these ones require iridium. Not that. Mm, nope. Uh, extended fuel cells. Platinum. Oh, I don't need to do that. I'm pretty sure that's not required for the end game. Oh, sure. I was getting punched to death at one point, so. That's the armor. Blay. Damage protection. Sure. Excellent. Let's do that. Tech damage, sure. Uses. Unfortunately, uses Ezo, but you know. I just hope I'm picking. I'm pretty sure I'm picking up all my upgrades that I need, but you know. You never know. Anybody? Anybody? Need me? You had me so worried when you were trapped on the collector ship. Thank goodness for Edie. She's an empath. <laughs> oh no, we aren't doing that. Uh... The Normandy crew delivered, including you. You're too kind. We were there to help, but Edie gets the credit this time. The elusive man made sure Edie was installed for this mission. Now I see why. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Tally seems very distraught mm. after receiving the message. Maybe you could check in on her down in engineering. Anything else, Commander? I do That'll be like all. Tally's mission, too. You, Commander, you've received a new message yeah, I at the pilot terminal. Mm. No, I... No? No? Mm. I mean, unless you... Mm. 
No. I should go check in with Anderson, though, honestly. I used to do that. When I first played, I would check in with him after every major mission. So the Collectors were once Protheans, repurposed by the Reapers. What a sad end. Makes you wonder if the Keepers on the Citadel were once something different. Oh ho ho, does it? If they were. Commander. I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Mm -hmm. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Anything new, Edie? Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust mm -hmm. me. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine Kay. without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. Logging you out, Shepard. You get to talk to her a little bit more later. And in Mass Effect 3. <laughs> I don't think there's any point really in running around talking to any. Oh, except Tally. We should go talk to Tally. Because people, we don't have most of their missions done yet. Although I could probably try talking to Miranda. Ken, what has the new shielding done to your power grid balance? Not much. The built in capacitor subsystems, they have a surprisingly low draw. Doesn't that mean the shielding boost wouldn't last long under fire? True. They're built for hard, fast strikes, not firefights of attrition. I mean, that's what the whole ship is built for, right? Like, we aren't, we are a, an infiltration frigate. Like, we are not, I think it were a frigate. We're not, we're not like a battleship designed to take, like, multiple hits. We're designed to be fast, get in and out, be stealthy. If we have to fight, we fight fast, and we get out. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I may need your help. I just received a message from the Mighty. Oh, jeez. The Admiralty Board has accused me of treason. Mm. I'm scared, Shepard. Well, freak, yeah, that's. Oh, I could imagine you just like. All the air would rush out of you, you know? Nobody who knows you could believe you'd betray your people, Tally. I don't know. They don't lay charges like this unless the evidence seems absolute. But thanks. I or it's just. Shepherd. It's just a political maneuver. Is it because you're working with Cerberus? I'm not working with Cerberus. I'm working with you. And I got leave to serve on the Normandy again. I have no idea what they're accusing me of. You'd think I would remember if I betrayed the fleet. What happens when a Quarian is accused of treason? There's a hearing with members of the Admiralty Board acting as judges. My father is an admiral on the board. He'll have to recuse himself from judgment. I can't even imagine what he's thinking right now. The punishment for treason is exile. If they convict me, I can never go back. What happens if you're convicted? Like I said, exile. The specifics are up to the judges. If it's deemed only a tragic mistake in judgment, the guilty party might receive a small ship and supplies. Not that it really matters. Either way, if I'm convicted, I'll never see the migrant fleet again. So, no prison and no death penalty? We don't have the spare resources for long-term incarceration. Monitored work detail is more effective. And we don't have enough people to afford executions. An exile can still have children, and those children are welcomed back to the fleet. Yep, I was gonna bring it up, but I remember she, she brings it up, so... <laughs> So you have no idea why they're accusing you? None. The specifics of charges like this are rarely discussed on open channels. I won't know any more until I get to the flotilla. How often is someone from the fleet charged with treason? It's rare. It must be something that affects the entire flotilla, not just one ship. The most recent one was Anora Vanya Vassalani, an engineer who handed over fleet defense schematics to the Batarians. She had good intentions. The Batarians were contracted to upgrade our systems, but they passed the defense schematics to a pirate gang. Yeah, I mean, oh, hey, why are you asking the Batarians to upgrade your defense systems? I know we shouldn't, you know, make large, you know, ass um, uh, assumptions. That's not a word. Assumptions. <laughs> um, but the Batarians are not generally the nicest people also if you're going to do upgrades to your weapons defense systems who better do that to do that than a quarian a 
it seems a bit contrived. Was she convicted? No. She made a suicide run on the pirate gang. She destroyed them before they could attack the fleet. She was pardoned posthumously. Let's hope I don't have to prove my innocence that way. So how does the trial work? How soon do we need to get you there? They'll wait a reasonable period of time for me to come and defend myself. Eventually, if I don't show up, they'll try me in absentia. As for how it works, it's less formal than an Earth trial or something you'd see on the Citadel. We're a family. This is just the worst kind of family meeting. So Thanksgiving, hey! <laughs> okay, let's go find the flotilla. I was going to book passage on another ship. I didn't think there would be time Tally. for you to have me. Thank you, Shepard. I worked really hard to get you here. I'll program the Normandy with the flotilla's current location. The admirals will be waiting for us. I'm not gonna. I'm not just gonna be like, oh, bye. Free, I'm also, we're best friends. We've been together through thick and thin. Like, I'm not just. I'm not just gonna be like, yeah, good luck with that. Free, just for moral support, if nothing else, I'd come. Back for more. Mm. Collectors and Protheans. It's all about my pay grade. I'm more used to putting down rebellions, tracking down bastards who didn't pay their gambling debts. Still, even I know a galaxy-shaking revelation when I hear one. Makes fighting land wars for pay seem small time. He's having an existential crisis, but don't worry, he'll get over it very quickly. I was trying to remember how many Cerberus operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. This is what Shepard would... Yes, you're elusive, man. This is what Shepard would look like if she was renegade and 50 years older. <laughs> I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Like Joker, at first I was like, Joker, we're nothing alike. But truly, if, uh... <sighs> if I was a renegade Shepard... And I do, I think I've said it before, but I understand where he gets the similarity in that Zaid does the impossible, but he does it for money. Which is kind of what Shepard does. But not for money. She does it because it's the right thing to do. Anyway, I'm going to call this one here. It might be a little bit short. But when we next jump in, I'm going to add... Um, should we do cryo ammo? No, I want to get... I want to get my shockwave, I think, upgraded. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to work on shockwave. Um, but yeah. When we next get back to things. I think we'll do Grunt's mission like I was kind of planning on doing anyway. I know we kind of have them in order, but I like we had Kasumi and then Jacob, but I really like Grunt. We'll probably do Grunt, Garrison, some more. Well, we have Tally's Treason. Oh, we got Jax. Maybe I should. Okay, after we do Grunt's we'll go in order, but no, we should probably do Garrison, some more. No, Garrison, Tally. Because they're my oldest friends, and then we'll go in order until we get until we get faints, and then we'll do faints. Uh, okay, after this, I'm gonna run around really quick and talk to people. Don't let me forget, ha! Huh? Okay. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it truly. Um, I want to say thank you to my patrons too, really quick to all my patrons, but to especially my sapling tier patron, Reese Galito. Thank you so much for your support, and my tree tier patron. Christopher, I sorry, I was going back in my head to make sure I said sapling and tree. Um, thank you so, so much for your support. I really honestly appreciate it. And all your comments, I know I'm behind on comments, and I'm sorry I kind of answer them sometimes for anybody, not just for you, but like I answer them in big, large swathes, swaths, and so you probably get like a bazillion notifications. But I appreciate it a lot because I read them all, like even if I don't answer right away, I read them all. So thank you all again for watching. I appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one.